Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 1st of November, Holy Mother the Church celebrates All Saints Day. It's been few months since July 1st when I first started the first episode of High Witnesses, the Witnesses of the Most High God, the Saints. And every day as I do these videos on the Saints, I'm learning a lot and growing a lot. That their witness, their fervor, their desire, the passion they had for God is great. If they could, why can't I, is the question every time I get when I speak about a saint. Today, we are celebrating all the saints together. Every age had its own harvest of holiness. Every age had its own crop of people who lived a life for Christ. They came from different walks of life. Some were priests, some bishops, some popes, some lay people, some married people, some men, some women, some children. From every walk of life, from every age group, we have people who lived and died for Christ. They were witnesses of Christ. So today, Holy Mother the Church remembers all of them. And this day is known as the Solemnity of All Saints. Solemnity is the greatest level of celebration in the Holy Catholic Church. First, memoria, optional memoria, memoria. Then we have feast, then solemnity. And solemnity basically we celebrate of the Lord. Solemnity of the Lord and every Sunday basically is the solemnity of the Lord. And solemnity of Blessed Virgin Mary we have three to four of them. But solemnity of all saints is today. Each saint taught me something new, something really great. Each saint taught me that our human weakness, our frailty, our problems, our difficulties, okay, they are not the full stop. They are not the dead end of our life. They can basically become a ladder towards Christ, a way to reach Him. Each saint has its own suffering. They, each of them had their own troubles, had their own crosses to say. But each of them carried their crosses and moved towards Christ. Who are these saints? These saints are the people who were successful in pleasing God through their lives. Saints are those who received the good that the good God bought for us. The saints are those people who lived a life which made Jesus Christ happy and proud. Their troubles and their situations did not become excuses because they never left any stone unturned to put all of their efforts in order to grow towards Christ. If you want to look at the priority in the life of saints, it was clear, Christ was their priority. Whatever was their way, way of life, whatever walk of life they were from, they may be busy people, they may be saints who are in educational institutions, or saints who are pastors, or saints who were married and had children. Having all their works in their hand, there were many saints who were kings. Even the wealth of the world, power of the world, could not stop them from getting closer to God. So, I always used to think that, okay, thank God I am poor, thank God I am a priest, thank God uh, that I came from this family, thank God that I am in this, this situation, that I can be closer to my God. But, today, I can tell you very clearly that our situations cannot decide whether we are to follow or not to follow God. It is we from deep within, we who decide. So many kings, so many people who had all the wealth of the world, all the power of the world, all the position, everything under their feet, yet they were not moved by the wealth of the world, but they were moved by the spirit that led them. So dear brothers and sisters, today, the Lord is calling each one of us to be saints, to sanctify ourselves, to stand as witnesses, to accept the Lord and to lead others to accept the Lord. 
This is the journey of our life. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth and the life. So all these saints found the life because they walked in the way of the truth. If you and me, dear brethren, walk in the way of the truth, we also will find life. Amen.